More teenagers shot and wounded, more drive-by bullets, and more overall community frustration. And I just look at this shit, man. Like, you know, once you hear teenagers, you know it's sons. More teenagers shot and wounded, more drive-by bullets, and more overall community frustration. And more calls for everyone to play a part in the solution, including judges. WLWT News House John London is live at District 1, where concern about street violence is growing. John. Well, it is, Stephen. You know, the ages of those getting shot are going lower, mid-teens, and that's a real concern here. And police say they're encountering more hard to manage crowds at shooting scenes like one of those they encountered last night. This is getting to be a regular message on police radios in Cincinnati. Oh yeah, several calls just saying they heard shots, only 20 shots fired in the area. Tuesday night, a fairly typical example. Report of three people just shot. Of what police officers face. 3330, I'll respond. How many officers do I have coming with me? I have one unless somebody can break away. Are you saying we just broke off and route? Okay, they're sitting at the drive-by shooting and waiting anything further. A drive-by on Westwood Avenue in South Fairmont left two 15-year-old boys wounded and an 18-year-old girl shot in the forearm. Another drive-by on Harrison Avenue in Westwood left four people wounded, three of them women. I'm sure that many of these people, this is probably not their first violent offense. And so that's an issue for our judges. And, and if people are constantly getting out with these violent records, that's something that us in the community, we can't. That's what you asked for. Like, it's not even know what you asked for. That's what you burned cities for. That's what you branded people racist for. That's what you fucking got legislation passed for. What do they... I, I, what do you think of that, man? Like, the fact that sisters are now seeing the light, man. Man, everything comes full circle. You know, whatever's in front of them, that's what they think about. You know, when George Floyd happened, it's like, oh, God, the world. And now that, you know, reality is setting back in, they're like, oh, yeah, that's right. We need <laughs> we need strict-ass punishments. Yeah, but these women are dead. That I could see white women or tiger women, even though I don't give them a break for that. But these women raise these boys. These women sleep with these men. These women went to for fucking kindergarten with son men. These kids, these girls went to the prom with a son man. These girls lived in communities with nothing but son men. They knew what the fuck would happen if you defunded the police and laxed the criminal justice system. They had to fucking know. Somewhere in the gut feel, no women aren't they supposed to have gut feelings? Women are supposed to have intuition, right? More, more so than men, right? That's what I heard. I heard a woman's better at everything than a man. Yeah, three of them women. I'm sure that many of these people, this is probably not their first violent offense. And so that's an issue for our judges. And, and if people are constantly getting out with these violent records, that's something that us in the community, we can't really, that's that's out of our lane. Tierra Powell and others are training 30 people at this church today about ways to defuse disputes. There have been no arrests from the East McMicken drive by a couple weeks ago. Police have stepped up patrols. Damn, that's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. Look at these kids. They're just walking down the street. And a, not some other black people come up. A, a white person, the, the 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 most they would have with a, the most contentious thing these kids would have with a white person because white people are terrified of these kids. The salute to um Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP, coming through once again. But the most contentious situation these people would have with a white person is if they like stole something out of the store and a white security guard tried to stop them or maybe like a white teacher like had to discipline them for like some outrageous behavior in the school or a white police officer had to arrest them these people would rarely have an incident with a white citizen that wasn't an authority figure which what do you think about that 
uh, well, yeah, I mean, how many white people did they really run into? I mean, with the areas that they live in are, you know, predominantly one race. Yeah, but even with gentrification, like the white people in their neighborhood are terrified of them. So they're not going to like be like bucking up on them and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, fucking nigga, get the fuck up. If you want. Like, I mean, like, so it's like. Yeah, when a, when, when a son and a glider have an argument against each other, the arguments, you know, it gets handled differently. Yeah. The, the, it, yeah is exactly. that. Is that because the son knows that the glider is unlikely to take that to deadly force? That may be true. That the the glider, the, the he he sees the glider as being reasonable, but it, but that reasonableness he doesn't. We'll use reasonable, but in his mind he looks at the glider as being soft. You know what I'm saying? And you know, a wimp or something like that, or you know what I'm saying? A, a poo butt, a buster. Yeah. Whatever, something like that, but we'll call that being reasonable because reasonable because those traits reasonable, um, measured, you know what I'm saying? The forward thinking, those things is usually seen as being, um, as, as a weakness. So, yeah, like, yeah, they probably do see, they probably do, and they also see the glider as somebody who cares, so that's why they sometimes, you know. They go the civil rights route. Like these teens, if they got into an argument with a glider or Karen, they would like try to like make it a racial issue and like try to like, you know what I'm saying? Um get the, you know what I'm saying, get the glider fired or get sympathy from it, you know what I'm saying? And be play the victim card. Rather than if it was the sun person, they just go straight to like deadly force. Yeah, because with the glider, you know, they could kind of showboat it and have fun with it to where, you know, if it's a sun yeah. person, it's like, oh, shit, you know, we got to be on guard. You know, no one cares if a sun person, you have an argument with a sun person. No one cares if a sun person inconveniences you. Gliders, they, 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 they'll, you know, say other gliders will reprimand that glider for inconveniencing you or for, um like, making you not completely comfortable in the setting you know what i'm saying or or um you know having some kind of like unconscious bias or something other gliders will come down on that glider sons you have to do something like this for some sons for a son to come on like man put the guns down man there's too much violence out here man we need to do something about that it takes something like this just to get that reaction from a sun person when it comes to sun on sun crime. Today about ways to defuse disputes. There have been no arrests from the East McMicken Drive by a couple weeks ago. Police have stepped up patrols and lawmakers have pumped up funding. There's one gap, and that's a program actually working with the shooters. September's the target for that. <laughs> A program Damn, actually working with the shooters. White women are, yo, know, white women are just, I, and listen, man, I talk about sisters all the time, and I know that we got some great white women in our nation, and I'm talking about as a whole. As a whole, white women are, are a fucking albatross over white men. White men would be, for, you talking about condos on the moon? If it wasn't for white women, white women are like a ball and chain to white men. White men would be on a fucking moon. They'd have a civilization on the moon if it wasn't for white women trying to bring everybody else along with them. Because white men would have just took their, took their chicken and left. But white women are like, no, let's bring everybody else with us. Yeah, the thought process of this is just fucking crazy. I mean, didn't this video start with, like, saying, oh, we're going to need to hold judges accountable, and now we've gotten to, oh, we need programs to work with shooters yeah, in, like, a two-minute time span? What the fuck? And I don't think she understands how evil those shooters are. Like, like these guys right here, there's storefronts here on the street. There's 
windows or people live at. You know what I'm saying? It's people sitting in cars. These guys not only don't care, but they don't consider that. It's not a consideration. It's not like, man, fuck that. I don't care if I hit them. They don't consider it. It's not part of the, you know, the, you know what I'm saying? The, the, you know what I'm saying? It's not part of what they do when they, when they mapping out their plan. Yeah. It's, it, it's lack of perception because yeah. they are, they, they're not proximal to violent people. So when they get in a position where they're supposed to deal with this, you know, they're coming to, you know, the wrong conclusions. Yeah. I, you, I've been around sun shooters. Sun shooters are different than any other shooter because they just don't care. There's no precision. It's just like with everything else. The lack it's a lack of precision. There's one gap, and that's a program actually working with the shooters. September's the target for that. Right now, former officer and current councilman Scotty Johnson wants more teenagers promoting peace with their peers. They are part of the puzzle, a huge part of the puzzle that will get us to a point where we're not turning on the television and two and three shootings a night. And one of the 15-year-old boys who was shot and wounded last night was seriously hurt. Police have not yet determined who fired the shots in any of those three instances from last evening. Reporting live at District 1, John London, WLWT News 5. Uh, John, last night's violence comes just a week after city leaders publicly called for community help to reduce the level of violence. You were at that meeting. Ashley was there. I was here on the set. We were all talking about it all day long. The question is, are they getting a community response? You know, Stephen, not as much as they had in mind. They are getting a response from various community groups and organizations such as the group that want money. Groups that want money to help solve the problem and shit. Those little fucking programs and shit. Yeah, they coming up. Yeah, give us thousands of dollars, hundred thousands of dollars, and we'll we'll um help you with this problem. That's the only fucking help they're gonna get. They're not gonna get no help from from black black folk. They know black folk intuitively and instinctively know that there's no solution that's doing the training tonight. But what city leaders say they need, as Scotty Johnson put it uh, again today, our uncles and aunts, cousins, family members, friends of family members, and teens themselves to have, as he put it, the difficult conversations uh, about ditching guns and learning Doc. how to manage their anger when these disputes arise. John London reporting live from, for us from District 1. John, thank you so much.